short of this and that we may be, but Britain is still out in front with new ideas. Necessity keeps on mothering inventions, and ex-serviceman Mr Atkinson of Barnet hasn't let the loss of both legs keep him at home. He's away in the first hand controlled two and a half horsepower runabout, especially built for war disabled men. A new model for the road in motoring's 50th year. And here's an idea for you. If you can handle a spanner well enough, you build your own pedal car. First on the road is inventor Norman Sykes of Sale. And even if it does need a bit of footwork, there's no tax, no license and no petrol coupons. Sykes crosses his bridges before he gets to them. Stay the night? Why, certainly. You leave the tent at home and pitch the pedal car. And for weekenders, fresh air isn't rationed yet. But for real ingenuity these days, you look around at the new homemakers of 1946. Starting with a prefab nest of Nissen huts, Pathé cameras put on record these designs for living in a houseless world. How would you like a floating home? You can have a humdrum job in factory or office and be your own admiral when you get home. And rent? Well, it's just a few bob mooring charts. And this family has a permanent busman's holiday at home. Seaborne again, and this time a yacht provides the home. Right now, it's moored off Southampton. But if it rains on wash day, you can move the house and keep a lookout for sunshine. House-hungry ideas men have picked out the infantry landing craft for one of their biggest experiments. To a design by Navy Commander Bell, the landing craft are converted into modern five-roomed houseboats. Total cost is just under 900 pounds for the fully furnished CB floating bungalow. And then, the house where you'll never be bothered by the neighbours. Winterton Lighthouse, Norfolk, home of Commander Rogers. Standing 300 yards inland, the lighthouse was built 30 years ago. Today, it offers still another idea for a home. <laughs>